It is Sunday, October 28th, and we're about to recap what's happening this past week or this past couple weeks in photography news. Adobe is finally giving us full Photoshop on the iPad. Fujifilm's $10,000 100 megapixel camera is coming out soon. And WeBuild Labs' new handheld stabilizer. I'll let you know what to expect from it. These stories coming up right after this. This is issue one of my weekly photography news recap, where I try and summarize all the top photography news from the past week, maybe a couple weeks. Some of these segments I might go more than a week back, some of these segments I might go a week into the future or a couple weeks into the future. It all depends on what I've read in the past week and I find interesting enough to share with you. First off, Adobe is giving us full Photoshop CC on the iPad. It's been about two weeks since Adobe made this announcement, and the past two weeks I've done a lot of research so I can kind of summarize this story for you. Now, the phrase real Photoshop has been used to describe what Adobe is coming out with in 2019. This will be Photoshop CC on the iPad. The underlying code seems to be the same as the desktop version, so you'll see a lot of the same core tools from the desktop version on this new iPad version of Photoshop. Photoshop CC for your iPad will create cloud PSD files which will sync and show up automatically on your desktop version of Photoshop. So far the only thing that I can find missing from Photoshop CC on your iPad is the timeline. And usually a timeline is used to create short video files that can be exported from Photoshop. So far it's unclear Photoshop CC for your iPad will be free a one-time payment or a part of a subscription plan. I'm hoping that everyone paying for Photoshop on the desktop will at least get Photoshop CC as a part of that package. More news to come on that one. In the meantime, check out the link in the description if you wanna read more about this. Also, check out the link in the description for my friend Justin Adisho channel. He gives you what's new in Adobe Photoshop CC 2019. Fujifilm is releasing a 100 megapixel camera at a price point of $9,995. Fujifilm released the details of their GFX100 at the Photo Plus 2018 Expo. Fujifilm spokesperson revealed that it will be able to shoot 4K film. That should be a given by now, I'm thinking. It will sport a traditional DSLR body, and he also showed off some of the lenses that we can expect in 2019 and 2020. Fujifilm's 100 megapixel camera expects to be at a better price point than some of the already 100 megapixel cameras that are available on the market, most of them ranging from 20, 30, 40 to 50 thousand dollars. Hasselblad's HD6 costs 47,995 dollars. We expect this camera to be released sometime in 2019 as well. Lastly, Ziyun Tech WeBuild Lab handheld stabilizer is coming in just two weeks. This is probably the most beautiful designed and functional gimbal I've ever seen on the market. It comes with a mini tripod that doubles as an extender for your main grip, but also can be moved to the battery bin to change the position of the grip. This makes it easier to shoot lower angles. This has a max payload of 6.6 .6 pounds, has a 10 hour battery life, and has wireless technology that allows you to control the gimbal straight from your phone. Right now you can pre-order this gimbal for only $5.99, I'll have a link in the description and we're expecting a release date of about November 9th. All right, that's all I have for you this week. Make sure you check back with me next week for more photography news. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the bell icon if you wanna be notified when I post new videos. Make sure you drop a comment. Let me know what you wanna see next in the future videos. I'll be chatting with you guys between videos in the comments section. And if you're still watching right now and wanna see more, make sure you check out one of these videos. And until next time, happy shooting.